Okay. Um, so yeah, this is a uh, next guild war. Um, there's a few summons I want to do, so this time we're going to do a few summons before we get into the actual guild war here. Um, let's see, summon here. Okay, nothing there. It's not a lot, mind you. Don't hopefully no one gets <laughs> overexcited here. Uh, who's next? Yeah, next rotation. I've already spoken on this. I think Dilibet's probably the best one here. If you need a, another opener, she's pretty decent. And if you just want a really fun, irritating unit, then there you go. I'll take uh, Archdemon Mercedes. I also have one of these um, from these up here. So we're gonna do this first. Oh, we have three of these. Nice. One, two, and three. Okay. Let's go back. Uh, we have one of these. Let's see what we get here. Do we get anything interesting? And nothing. Okay, this case isn't too bad, obviously, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, let's go to... So there's that. I think that's everything I had, right? So let's just get here and go get the transmits. Uh, I still have to, I still have to buy these. Don't look at them. Oh, where is it? It's up here. Uh, let's get these. Ooh, let's see if we get anything. It'd be funny if we just get Commander Lilius off of this. And no, just a four star. Maybe it's Kawana. And this is the third angelic, uh, or yeah, AOL I have gotten. Um, interesting. There you go. Kind of sad some people out there are just like dumped a bunch of money to not get her and <laughs> I've got so many of her. Uh, let's see. Just get this out of the way. Uh, let's go over here. I actually have to pause something really quickly. Okay, we're back. Uh, mainly the point I wanted to make uh, before we get go forward here is let's go, let's go see this team here. Not too bad. Um, we haven't been attacked, so I don't know how that team is doing. Uh, but this time we're, we're actually just going to try to get um, her in as many teams as possible, uh, speaking about Eula. Um, just because uh, I, I just gave her the what she needed. So what we gave her was um, she has 29,000 HP now, so I went full HP uh, on, on, all, on all three. So she has a uh, no longer speed, so she has like 180 speed. 29,000 HP and a maxed out Aureus, uh, just to give her like the most benefit of the doubt here to do whatever she wants to do, right? Uh, let's see. So up here, what we're gonna do is, hmm. I'm gonna go with that. Who mitigates like the most damage? Uh, we're gonna go with you. Not you, you. Okay. Well, she's gonna mitigate crit damage. So, yeah. Well, we can just go with a regular Aureus holder, which is probably gonna just be Crow. Who is where exactly? Where are you? There you are. Okay. So this team looks pretty decent up here. Uh, down here, obviously, she's gonna bait her. We're gonna go with. We need to. We're gonna get rid of. What's his name here? We're gonna get. We're gonna hit him with you. Uh, and then for just like a general. Let's see. We'll go with. Uh, what's, her, what's his name here? Let's see. Where are you? And she is right here. Okay, we'll go with you. Um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. This is probably a bad idea, but whatever. Okay, so clearly we can't kill the... What's her name right now? I'm gonna push her back even more here. 
and we didn't get to that barrier, which is already pretty irritating. Okay, so that didn't really do very much, which is kind of what we wanted. Just get it out of the way, more than anything else. Get rid of you, because she's gonna keep giving like she's basically improves the speed of the entire team by giving bike uh, uh, Corinne over here more attacks than she should be having. Okay. Uh, next is we gotta kill her. She's got about 12k HP, that's not too bad. And then now we can just burn this S3 on her. It's not gonna kill her, mind you, but um, better than nothing, right? Um, should I try this? I feel like I should just give this a shot. I'm probably not gonna hit. Yeah, I missed. But hopefully we can still do a decent amount of damage through. Oh, no, we did not do enough. That's fine. And we missed the crit, thank you. Yeah, I've been really thinking, given that the um, crit damage set is where it's at, I've been really trying to like convince myself of putting a crit damage set on a Ravi. So for two like two units, I'm already thinking about our A Ravi um, and uh, what was the other one? Alencia would be probably really good on crit damage set as well. Um, who else? Uh, oh, obviously uh, Shu would be pretty decent on it. But again, that's already too many crit sets. I don't have that much crit, crit damage gear. Probably should have soul burned that personally. Uh, let's just get this over with here. Um, but yeah, so. Those are like the three main units I'm thinking of, and they're kind of the obvious ones just because they scale with, like, they have ulterior scaling, so they got HP scaling. Um, so, let's see. Just, we're just going to dumpster him because he's the only threat we have for, uh... What's it called here? Let's see what we got here. Okay, so she's going to try to nuke her. Let's see how much damage she does here. Okay, so unfortunately we didn't get um, the S2 trigger, which is not too bad, but still. She healed pretty nice off of that, and we get the heal off of this. So she shouldn't do too bad. Like I said, uh, if this was like a real match, uh, that Hua Young would have hit a higher priority target than her, and it would have taken her longer to like get that HP down like that. And she just died in one one hit. Cool. Let's see. Yeah, we're going with this down here. I think I'll go with I'll stick with this down here. And then up here, we're going with um, Crow here for that, that, that. Uh, hmm, this looks all right. This looks like basically what I'm gonna, what I'm just gonna go with. I kinda wanna water, another water, but. Yeah, I think this is fine, we'll go with this. Hopefully my Ravi doesn't get, take too much damage, but um, we'll see how she does. See if I can get through this. She doesn't have evasion, so hopefully we don't miss. Okay. Let's see if she dies. And she got the counterattack with some life steal, which is pretty annoying. We didn't get the Obeard Brock, so so far we're um, we're 0 for 2 on RNG here, which is pretty irritating as it is. Um, I have to S3 somebody here. Um. We need to get rid of your HP bar as soon as possible. Uh, Ramiro already did what Ramiro was gonna do, so. Let's 
and she killed her. Fantastic. So we're we're like, yeah, we're getting kind of screwed over in RNG here right now. Um, that counterattack would not have happened. Um, we would have been a lot better off. Not not 100 percent. I don't you know. I don't know if we would have won necessarily, but I mean, there goes another there goes another counterattack. And here comes the S2. We haven't really missed on her either. This is just how much, like, how irritating she is. Oh my gosh. And we got the dual attack there, and I have to quit. That's dumb. Yeah. All right. So this isn't going to kill Ravi, but uh, still better than nothing, right? Yep. Perry is like beyond irritating. <sighs> Let's see if I get the uh, S2 proc. There we go. Um, we're just gonna kill Ravi because. Um, should I kill Ravi or should I? This is a bad situation. Um. I'm just gonna kill Ravi, whatever. Okay. Let's just heal everybody. I hate Pyria so much. Like her, the fact that she goes first doesn't mean anything. The stealth doesn't mean anything. The shields don't mean anything. Nothing means anything other than um, the 40% damage redirect. It's like insanely annoying. It's not even good, it's just irritating. Okay, so fortunately... Uh, what's her name? Did not... So she's probably gonna die now, which is pretty irritating. Uh, we're gonna lose her for the showcase. Well, not really a showcase, but you know, whatever. After we kill Hua Young, we'll be fine. Um, uh, actually, I don't know if this is gonna kill her. Okay, cool. Yeah, so after she's dead, it's basically. Um, we win. This is why you have to have your artifacts. Like, I'm still, <laughs> for anyone still listening, um, I'm still insanely salty about that first one. We lost that on a on an 85% chance. So, 85% chance on Uber's Tooth to proc, and it didn't proc, right? And then, a 30% chance, at max, at max 30% chance to counterattack. Um, and she counterattacked, so... We lost both of those things, which is 30% times 15% is some number. 10% at 3, half is 15, so 45. So there's a four. So there's a 5% chance that to have happened, and it happened. Um, take that as you will. Let's see this here. So we don't have we don't have um, Yulhan anymore. So we're just gonna go here. Uh, we need a water bait, maybe. I think we can go without, though. We're gonna go with fire. Let's see what we're looking at here. We 
Where is yeah? We're gonna go with you. Uh, where is what's her name? You. And we're gonna go with. Uh, where is? I can either go with Ravi or Mercedes. I think I'm gonna go with Mercedes. But up here, I think I'm gonna go with Lilius actually. Now nah, we're just gonna go with that. See what happens. Um, this BBK might destroy us, but we'll see. Uh, he hits everybody neutrally, so or effectively, basically. So that's kind of a worry, but you know it is what it is. Down here, we're gonna go with um, you. Uh, where's Ravi? Ravi, and we're gonna go with you. Hopefully, you can take with addition out, but I don't know. It's iffy. See who he decides to hit first? Okay, so he hit her. And he missed somehow, even though he hits... Supposed to hit effectively? Did I miss something? I'm not sure. Let's try to hit you with this. Cool. Did she cleanse? Why did she cleanse that? Is there something I'm missing here? I'm not sure what happened. I don't know how she cleansed that. I guess that just seems like a weird decision, a weird thing. Cause my my thing is like, did they give her s some kind of EE that cleanses or something for some reason? I don't know. I'm confused. Okay, so she's dead. Of course. So I, BBK crit on her twice, which you know it's fantastic on one level. Um, that should have just been Ravi then, I guess. That's what I get for not going with Ravi. And she's stunned cool. So, like I said, I was pretty sure we were going to win. I just wanted a little more damage from the uh, Mercedes. But despite... We'll look at the Mercedes stats so you guys can see that she's not, like, poorly statted. Okay, so here comes this guy. Uh, let's hit... Mm, let you get one of your revives out of the way. Okay. I'm gonna sink as much damage into him as possible so that when she heals, her max health thing gets less, more less returns out of it, right? Because if she heals Bellion with that full heal, um, you're basically getting a lot more HP out of it. Uh, we'll do two, two damage on her. So our next target needs to be the Ruel. I'm going to try to leave the Bellion for as long as possible so that these things can go off and try to trigger his effect. Okay, so this, this is why I wanted to keep her alive, just so I can get a bunch of these off. Oh, of course. Fantastic. Um, let's hit you, get more damage on you. Okay, so she should be dead now. Alright, we're gonna put this on you. No, oh, we actually hit her, cool. Uh, of course, so that's two in a row. Uh, we'll go with you because we gotta get rid of you. Oh, he's he's hit both of them, so we're, at least we're lucky on that sense. And you're dead. Okay. Now we just get to hit you with this. Okay. Oh, she has like no HP. Let's see this these huge damage numbers. Ah, oh, we didn't get to see the pop. I wanted to see how big um, the detonation would be. Uh, but anyway, the point being that, uh, yeah, I do need to re I need to build my Kawazu a little stronger just because he's become like 
such an awesome like I don't know just a really good uh, place there. Did I use her? I guess we can see uh, how she missed that. So she's got 6k attack. Uh, some of the better ones are at 7k. Um, I could probably stand why stand with boosting this at some point. Um, boosting something else. Uh, what else? Uh, let's go look at her so you guys can see. So as you can see, she's got a decent amount of HP. The defense is a bit low, but otherwise she's not like... She doesn't have no health, right? And she still just died to grass and uh, one BB, two BBK hits. Uh, but like I said, she's not the worst kitted, but obviously she's not very good. Um, what is this here? This isn't too bad. Not very good, but too, not too bad. Uh, in case anybody wanted to see her. She actually came in. She actually did a little more damage than I thought she would, so that's pretty good. Uh, let's take a look at... Who else did I use today? Let's take a look at Eula. This is our main sort of attraction here. Um, yeah, I think, like I said, she's not the worst, but, I mean, even in this, her ideal conditions is like... She's not performing as well as you'd, you'd want her to, to with the amount of gear investment you're putting into her. Um, if you put her on RTA, they're just going to ignore her, hit everyone else. Of course, the Aureus is going to help bring their damage down, but like... In a meta where everybody gets one shot, if if Hua Young is on the other team, Hua Young's gonna one shot one of your units, and now you're a three on three on four, Eula's not gonna do anything because she has to wait for her HP to get down. So basically it's a two V two until Eula can come in and even the playing field. But the thing is there's so many openers with one shots, right? So if you got something like um what's the name? Like ML Violet's another example where he can go fast enough to not 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 go first, right? But he's definitely as fast as uh, some of the faster Hua Young's built, so he can just go first, nuke someone out of the blue, and now it's a four on three, right? Um, and the fact that Yola takes so long, she has the same problems that Crow does. It's just that, she, like I said, she's a little faster. Um, in PvP, like AI control PvP, she's as good as Crow is, right? So if you're gonna bring Crow into anything, bring her, and she'll do the same thing, uh, only better because, like I said, whenever she gets that, she can hurry up. Because one of the things that happens with Crow is like his HP starts getting low. Um, and then like, sometimes he'll die before he gets the S3 off. That's why some people run him with um, the the revival artifact because they want him to revive and then just S3 somebody. Uh, or you can just save that artifact and not run it, keep the Aureus on her and have this passive instead so that she pushes herself forward when she's ready to S3. Um, like I said, she's kind of lackluster and, and I like I prefer like this is my this is running like excellent gear and she's just kind of barely doing her job. Uh, granted, when she died, it was because I didn't use her S3 on um, Hua Young, and then Hua Young killed her. You know, take that as you will. Hua Young was like two inches from death, and I was going to kill her with something else, but I didn't. Um, but anyway, yeah, so take that as you will. Uh, what else did I show off today? I guess, I mean, it's, it's not that big a deal, but here's my uh, little Queen Charlotte build. Uh, she's not as fast. I just I, I just dumped full attack as much as I could just so that her like splash damage could do something because I found myself using her with a CR pusher more than anything. Uh, as you can see here, I still need to upgrade this. Um, like I said, I want to put her on a crit damage set. Hopefully, I mean, the idea is that I can get the same stats I have here with 50% more uh, critical hit damage. Now, we're losing a lot of speed because we're not having the speed uh, set anymore. So hopefully I can ro roll good stuff to get her up to 180 speed, something like that. Um, of course, here's Kawazu. Uh, like I said, Kawazu's kind of on the wimpy side um, from what he should be, considering he's supposed to sit here and tank stuff. Um, and he doesn't have, again, so while I was complaining about this, you have to remember that she also comes built in with a 25% critical hit damage reduction, and it still doesn't mean anything, right? So... Um, whereas Kawazu doesn't have anything. He just takes everything straight to the face. Um, like I said, I need him a little tankier. If I can get more attack, then fine. But I think his tank is what should come first. Uh, who else did I have here today? I mean, I guess him. He's kind of boring, though. Um, like I said, I'm going to probably make a video pulling on the, the new arena set gear and just, like, swap out whoever's running an HP set. Uh, the other thing I wanted to add to the Eula before we left here... Uh, was on Eula, I've been wanting, I think I'm probably going to take off the immunity set and then just run her on a health set, uh, so health and speed, uh, specifically just because uh, she doesn't really care about getting debuffed, right? Again, all she does is S3. Nothing else in her kit is worth anything other than like taking damage and then returning it with this, but this thing here, oops, grants a barrier, increases combat readiness, wait, 
Yeah, it dispels all debuffs, right? When this thing triggers. Uh, so if she gets debuffed like crazy, she gets stunned, slept, it doesn't really matter what's on her until it's go time, until it's time to use this. And when it's time to use this, this will proc, right? So that's kind of what I find kind of useful. So like I said, I'll probably just not run her uh, super slow. I think the, the speed she's at now is pretty good, 188. But the health set, I think, is going to help her out a lot more. And then we'll hit that 30,000 HP. Uh, granted, like I said, is she really worth running that? I don't know. The fact that Crow is water, like both of them, I said, but like I said, both of them are good on PvE, but only when AI is being controlled. If you look at RTA and no one's using Crow, and Yulha is just a, a grass optimized version of Crow, um, yeah, so a slightly better Crow is not really going to change the meta in RTA very much. At least from what I've seen. Um, it takes time. I, I can't watch every like all the RTA matches out there in the world. Um, so take that as you will. If you start seeing her being used and whatever, then you know maybe comment, um, let me know, or um, you know it's up to you. Because obviously at the end of the day, these videos are made made for like helping people like choose what they want to invest in. And as someone who's sort of at the end game of this game, I'm not in Legend, mind you, as you guys all saw. But as someone who's near the end game, basically. Um, I can have I have some thoughts on like units that might help you just avoid investing in units that are going to be they're not going to pay off in the long run. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, um, I'm going to pull a bunch of that uh, health set gear and then just put it on whoever needs it. So like her or um, who else? Uh, I don't know. Just like for anybody who runs uh, Rolana, you just put your uh, HP set on her or something, um, stuff like that. Yeah, but. You know, for now that's that's that. Like I said, I'll have to work on getting more crit damage set and stuff like that, and then showing off Alencia at some point. Alencia is probably gonna be the first one because Alencia doesn't have any gear, and I think uh, she's she's at the point now where I think she's good enough to just be usable in the meta as a good bruiser. Because, um, and I think some people don't even realize that Alencia makes a better bruiser than Yulha. Like she'll she'll tank better than Yulha a lot of times because she gives herself defense buff. Uh, and then do a lot of damage. Granted, Yulha is very good at killing fire units, so specifically Hua Young. Alencia is not going to kill Hua Young, where Yulha can kill Hua Young. But Yulha's specialization into killing Hua Young kind of removes her effectiveness against everything else. Where Alencia is like good against everybody, but Hua Young is just going to dumpster her. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, but like I said, this was a huge boost. Just getting this 100% of the time, like you're always going to S1 into S2. I mean, granted, if they buff block you, then that's a different story. But theoretically, you're always going to get S1 into S2, just boosted her damage like crazy. And now you don't have to sit there and wait for her to get hit. Uh, and then you get 50% um, on the strip on this, which is really good. So like when it's her turn, she does this, she boosts herself 50%, and then she gets to S1, and that's basically it. Like her first turn, like her early game first turn, like RTA thing is just solid. Um, defense buff, uh, defense break possibly with the second follow-up, uh, and injuries, which, again, it's not that big a deal, but, I mean, you know, why not, right? Um, so, yeah, like I said, take the kids in mind. Um, hopefully, I, I'm still always debating, but hopefully the next time you see her, uh, my shoe will be um, five-star uh, with a bunch of imprints, because I have, let's see, I have two imprints, right? So that's a lot of that's especially good for her because it's a lot of crit damage, or crit chance. I mean, right here. Um, so like I said, I'm probably gonna run her on. I don't know. I don't really know. I haven't decided because counter set looks like fun because she has a built-in Elbrus. So just have her sit there and like counter attack people. Not to mention she also has um, this artifact, which every time she counter attacks with her S1, she has a chance to proc the S2, which is like doubling your damage for no reason. Um, yeah, so running around with a counter set seems like what I want to do with her, but running around a speed set also looks really good. And again, I already mentioned the 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 crit damage set looks like it'd be like insanely fun to use on her. So right now she's really kind of open ended in terms of what I want to do with her. So maybe next time you see her, she'll be properly built out. Uh, I think I'm done testing Yulha for now. Um, maybe after this I'll do an RTA video. I keep saying that, but I always delay it just because I hate playing RTA. Um, maybe I'll do an RTA video to show her off and see how she does there. Um, but yeah, until next time, then that's it for today.